hello there youtubers and since I've got some requests for more small samples in assembler for the Commodore 64 I thought okay I put up one maybe two small tutorials uh, so today we're gonna do that old boring hello world uh, sample um, and that's because whatever programming language you start out with you you're gonna need to put something on onto the screen and it's quite easy to do that so I'm going to show you how to do that in, in uh, assembler so um, in this tutorial uh, we're going to do it uh, the right away so using an emulator here so if you're on Linux and on Windows and whatever operating system you really are they're almost always an emulator for the Commodore 64 known as Vice else just look on emulator net or something and you will find a good emulator for your platform i'm running on macintosh on mac os 10 myself and i'm using an emulator known as power 64 that i think is really good for that platform and so that's the first thing you're gonna need and then i recommend you to look at this page uh, i'm gonna zoom in here turbo 64 dot style 64 uh, turbo dot style 64 uh, dot org um, this people that have this site uh, this site, this site um, uh, are maintaining and enhancing an old uh, macro assembler that was made by Omnicron and that's known as turbo assembler and um, they have some own versions of it like the turbo macro pro that's a really good version and their documentation and documentation on how to use that assembler and so on on this page so i recommend you to start looking there and download it so let's see yeah. hopefully I already put in a virtual disk into my emulator so what i'm doing now now is listing the content on that disk and let's see here we have something uh, so let's use that uh, hit run if this is not run it's probably you start the turbo assembler version 5 or 6 you start with a sys command I think it's sys 36864 or something like that so now here's the environment for the turbo assembler uh, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is start, set up a start address uh, I'm going to use 1000 in hex as the start address uh, for the program and the start address means where in the Commodore 64's RAM memory uh, do you want this program to be put and in this case it's decimal 4096 and the second thing I'm going to do here before writing any code is actually putting in a label a label works like a point or something in a macro assembler in this case the pointer will point to uh, a string or rather uh, yeah a string or, uh, a, a sequence of characters that we put somewhere in memory and in this case it will be hello world and so now we have a pointer that points to text that's what I'm putting here so we don't have to put uh, each character as a byte uh, I could have done that also. Uh, if you look in the uh, macro turbo assembler documentation, you will know that there's something known as dot byte, where you can put bytes of information that you then uh, use in your program. So okay, we have the start address. We have put in our message, and this message is uh, 12 characters long. So what we will do now is actually just putting out these characters directly on the screen and the screen memory starts at the de decimal address 1024 uh, on the Commodore 64 and that's hex 0400 and what we're going to do is take one character put it in the most left corner of the screen and then we will move to the next character and put it in the next position in the screen memory and so on so of course that means that we're going to need some kind of counter and if you know anything about uh, 6502 CPU, you probably know that it has an X register, you have an I register, and you have something known as an accumulator. And then besides these um, 
that I uh, told you about, uh, you will have uh, something known as a zero page register and a program counter also. But today we're going to only need the accumulator and one of the X or the I register. So let's use the X register and use that as a counter so we can use that to uh, move forward in, in our string here. So what we're going to do is use the X register and we're going to put a zero into that and use that as a counter and then we will start to load whatever is in the message position in the memory you remember I said the message label here is a pointer to the first first uh, H here in the string uh, so we're going to load that and since I used the X register now as a counter and the first uh, uh, time we keep this row uh, the x will be 0 so it will find the h and then we will increase the x to 1 and then it should find the e and then an l l and so on so now what I did here is loading the accumulator with the first letter h in our string so with that in the accumulator the h in the accumulator I can now uh, use another mnemonic known as st uh, store store whatever in the accumulator sta and the position we want to do that for is 0400 plus x remember i said 0400 is decimal 1024 and that's the first position on the screen and since x now is zero that's be gonna be the upper left corner and then i increase x so it will be in the next member position and so on and alternative way to use Putting out uh, content directly on the screen is use a kernel routine. There's a kernel routine in FF2D, but um, I often think it's better to put it directly on the screen since using uh, screen memory directly you can ease more easily uh, decide where on the screen you want you want the text to be put on. So after putting out the letter on the screen, we will increase uh, the X register that's done with that mnemonic increase x register with one and now what we need to do is check if we have uh, uh, come to the end of the string and remember the string was 12 characters long so uh, 12 in hex is uh, c as a c sir so that's how we compare if we're x register is equal to 12 and if it's not equal to 12 then we will hit back in the loop so we have to put in another uh, label here oops loop uh, like that uh, so so the last thing we should do is return from the subroutine so this will be our program here now. Let's see if that works. I assembled it and it didn't uh, enter an error, so we just run the program as you see here is hello world on the screen. And now to go back to the assembler again, we can do it like that. This is 36864. So this is a really easy sample on how to put out hello world on the screen using uh, uh, Turbo assembler, uh, that's an old macro assembler for the Commodore 64 and an emulator. So, hope you enjoy this and uh, try this out for yourself.